Hey what's going on guys, it's Blaze or Ace Blazer, and I'm here to bring to you today another Realm Total War Online commentary battle. Uh, you might be able to see my uh, my troop layout unit cards on the live screen that I showed just before, so without further ado we're going to go straight to my enemy's army. His name's Gaddafi Duck, I saw him a lot in the uh, RTW lobbies, so finally get a chance to play him, it turned out to be a pretty good battle. So he's got 6 uh, Phalanx Pikemen, 6 Archers. Five militia hoplites with his, uh, which is going to be his reserve force, and three militia cavalry. So I'm going to have uh, cavalry superiority, but he's going to have archer superiority. So what I need to do is use micro to disrupt his formation as best as possible. Usually, what I find is that in these type of formations, people forget to turn skirmish mode off. So good idea to, you know, just move your cavalry in and just try to get his archers to move. Okay, opening phase, I'm going to try to disrupt his jab cav here with my own jab cav. Just chase off this unit here to take them out of the battle. Because I don't really care too much about my own jab cav, to be honest. And over here I was going to do the same, but then I saw his archer formation. Just wide open spot. And I thought, oh, just go in and take them all out. So you can see his archer starting to run away already. But I think he turns it off right about here. And this allows me to just go straight into the middle of his formation and do a little, little disruption. And you can see it's totally disrupted them. They've taken out their knives. And I even managed to take out his one unit here. He's got no heavy cavalry to support, so my long shield cavalry have full reign across this battlefield. And his militia hoplites can't can't move in time. So that's the thing about these uh these uh, infantry formations. When you have all these spear units in the back, you need to make sure that your holes are tight. Otherwise, my long shield cavalry can just go right into those holes and uh, take them out. So your micro needs to be very good too when managing these formations. So the name of the game here for me is to just uh, disrupt his uh, his archer formation and give my troops, uh, my archers, good uh, time to take out his archers. Okay, here he does a major mistake. He lines up his infantry right in front of my legionnaires, and that allows them to throw all their javelins. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really. This unit's down to only 52 men. That's devastating. Alright, and I'm still disrupting his archer formations. As you can see, my long shield cavalry have complete control of the back here. Um, he's trying to do the same with his new his uh, military cav back here, which I don't spot later. Until later. And here I route this uh, unit of pikemen through a nice hammer and anvil, and I also attack this with the hammer and anvil. He turns his pikes around, so I just send them off to kill some archers. Okay, so dealing plenty of damage here. Attacking his archers, attacking his archers. And it's around this time I catch his militia cav out of the corner of my eye. So I send off my reserve unit of long shield to deal with them, and that routes them. Alright, and here's the hammer and anvil. And that just wiped out his general, like on the first charge. So I really do like long shield cavalry because they're so light and they also have a really good charge for what they are because they still have spears and uh, they are really useful in my opinion. Probably some of the best cavalry in the game. Of course they can't duel with uh, heavy cavalry but for this type of battle oh, they're excellent. Okay, You can see here every time I've been trying to ward off his militia cavalry and then I just go back and hammer down with his formation. So his militia cavalry are helpless to really do anything useful. Uh, he's he's dealt with my Numidian cavalry over there, but I don't really care about them. I took out a unit of his Jav Cav, and that just gives me better rain. And I'm just hammer and anviling his formation. See, without my light cavalry, my infantry would have not stood a chance, because you can see a lot of my infantry are dead here. 
they're getting impaled in front of those spears, so... Yeah. And I've got my Nubian Cav out there just tick chasing down routing units. You might be able to see me uh, in my live screen just uh, clicking on the random units in the back. Alright. I don't know if you heard that beeping in the background. That's something on my blocks getting blown up or something. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, so that's basically over. The infantry all routed after that hammer and anvil. And taking out the general and stuff. So his militia hoplites couldn't, couldn't stop. Lies in your grasp, and there is nothing the enemy can do but run. As I was saying, his militia hoplites could not stop the, the hammer and anvils. They're just too slow. Alright, that was a very good game. Uh, great game to Gaffy Duck. I had 1,508 kills, and Gaddafi Duck had 576 kills. Again, very good game to Gaddafi Duck, and I must uh, say I do. Be sure to check out my last battle. It was a Euro for Barbarum online battle, so just simply click on the video that's shown, and it'll take you straight to the YouTube link. See you guys next time.